Following the announcement of various adopted candidates ahead of the 12 August general elections, some members belonging to a patriotic front party and residents of Mwembeshi Ward are accusing the ward chairperson, Crispin Kambole, of being corrupt and also using his position to advantage himself. Representing the affected members, Albert Muteba says Mr. Kambole has adopted himself in Mwembeshi Ward without following proper application procedures. Mr. Mteba explains that it is only wise if youthful candidates are given a chance at leadership so that they too can also use their energy to develop the nation further. It happened during adoption in our, in our area, Mwembeshwa 27. It's not anywhere we can say it's uh, human. Um, we've been robbed of an opportunity and a chance for a young person to rule the people of Mwembeshwat. Therefore, being imposed with the constituents chairman who happens to be Honorable Kabole, who was our man who was interviewing us during adoption. Our constituents chairman was a candidate for, for Matelo M MP ship, um, let alone withdrew and maintained his position when the secular came out. To our surprise, um, the chairman is the candidate for PF, leaving out all the five candidates who had applied and followed D and followed all the regulations. Fionse, Fiona, Tuvere, Purina, SG, Pitra, President, SG, Tuvere, Amafunde, Yonse, Tuari Konkere, Yonse. He says Mr. Kambole's adoption is a proceed of corruption, which should not be tolerated as the country is fighting corruption. Meanwhile, Mr. Kambole has refuted the allegations that he is using his position as a person to advantage himself. And speaking during the same event, Kelvin Chileshe says PF adopted Member of Parliament for Matera Ward 8, Ani Chinyama, is not the right candidate for that position. I would like to register my deepest disappointment in the adoption process. They have picked up an popular candidate. This unpopular candidate that we are talking about is Annie Chinyan. She is very weak, very weak to the extent that uh, I cannot allow, because me, I love Matero, I love the people of Matero at 28, and I will not allow it to continue and to move like that. Annie Chinyan has failed to deliver the last five years that she was given. This is the person who made the council to be dissolved. Both men were speaking in Lusaka on the 16th of May 2021. Reporting for Movie TV News, Namangolo Mundia.